Okay, hello Camp Nerd fans, this is Ian, and I'm coming back in 2018 with another tutorial that's going to be very simple. I'm going to start try getting these tutorials rolling out just about every single day, just a little bit here, there, and yonder. But I had a request from a person on my Facebook computer programmer group. Uh, was asking a few questions about like a shutdown timer and everything like that. So what we're going to do is this little program right here, which is something that could be useful. You could add to your application or just have it for uh, just stand alone to the side and you can add v different variables to it such as shutdown, restart, log off, hibernate things like that. But what this does is when you press shut down, you will have a thing that comes up and says it's shut down in less than a minute. Then when you press the cancel button, you'll see down here it says log off is canceled, which means the shutdown has been canceled. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to create and design this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Visual Studio and while that is opening up I'm just going to stop this and then just exit out of it because we're not going to need it anymore. And then when you bring up Visual Studio you're going to see your options and what you're going to do is you want to go to your file, go to new, then you're going to go to projects. Now in those projects you're going to choose C Sharp and it's also going to be a Windows form application. Okay, and you can change uh, the name to it to whatever you want if it's something new or if you're adding it in. I'm just going to put in tutorial and then I'm just going to save it to a folder on my desktop. All right, we're just going to put it in the test. And then we're just going to click OK. Now, as this begins to build, this is uh, very, very, very simple. You can do it in many different ways. Uh, some of the past videos that I have made uh, showing you how to use like labels for buttons and things like that. But for this one, all you would have to do is go to your toolbox and you're going to add a timer and then you're going to add two buttons and that's pretty much all you're going to need and what we're going to do is we're going to size these real quick uh, like that right there then we're just going to bring them down like that right there and we're going to put this button here and this button here. And this, we're just going to close this off, make it a little bit uniform. Yeah, like that. All right, so on your button, you're going to change it to whatever your name is. I'm just going to put shut down. And then I'm going to change the design name from button one and be sure to capitalize your B if not you'll get a naming error uh, BTN shut down and I'll show you what the naming error is so if we go to button two and we're just going to put abort and then down here in button two, we're just going to leave uh, the B lowercase and put BTN abort. All right, now you can click on the buttons. You're going to be uh, going to that anyways. So just go ahead and get the shutdown and abort. Now what I'm showing you is you see this right here, the three little lines under the BT. If you hover over that, it says naming rule violation. These words begin with uppercase characters. So what we can do is you can quick fix it, which is you just click on the little light bulb and fix name and it automatically fixes it to a capitalized. Okay, so now we're going to go and we're going to get our timer set up so we're not having to flip-flop back and forth. 
you're going to click on your timer and go to properties and you want the interval is 1000 milliseconds equals one second so let's say if you want it to shut down in one minute then basically once you have your uh, 1000 so it's going to be 60,000 for one minute now let's say we want uh, 10 seconds it would be 10,000 that's what we're going to leave here and we're going to change this to TMR shutdown for the design name so that way you know what it is enabled just leave it default leave it turned off all right then now you're going to come down here and you're going to click on your timer all right so first things first we're going to have to add a, a using namespace and we've used this before in some things but it's using system.diagnostics and that is what we'll need to add for right now now under your BTN shutdown button you're going to have to wire up in an event and in this event we're going to use the system.diagnostic which is the processing to execute a program which is hidden in uh, the C folder of your computer and it's called shutdown.exe and basically what we're going to do is we're going to go to process.start and then you can go ahead and close that off if you want now in the inside of your parentheses and inside of your quotation marks you're going to type shut down and then you're going to go outside of the quotation marks and you are going to put a comma and you're going to put another set of quotation marks now in this you're going to do forward slash s which means shut down forward slash f which means if there's any processes running in the background so it doesn't hang it will force it shut and it'll force shut down all those processes that are in the background then you're going to come back and you're going to put forward slash t now this is the time now we had 10 seconds on the actual timer itself so we're just going to put 10 right there all right now down here you're going to put your tmr timer shutdown and then you're going to start that like that right there now for the abort you are going to start with the same thing it's going to be the process dot start and you're going to do the exact same thing now instead of the second quotation instead of putting forward slash f forward slash f forward slash t and 10 you are just going to put forward slash a which stands for abort now under that you're going to do your tmr shutdown dot stop and what that does is that shuts everything down now with your timer let's say if you wanted to put a label or something like that in the tmr event you can basically uh, put some logic or wired events whatever you would like okay now <clears throat> for some of the ones that don't know if you use the double forward slash it'll put it green basically that comments that out so you can basically leave comments with what this section does so you can wire the events from here all right so now if we go and we save all right now we're going to start it and whenever it starts and it builds and you actually press the button 
for shutdown and which as you can see it right here and we're just going to move it right over here on top of my wife's nose like that right there all right now when you press shut down you will have the uac come up well it's not really uac but it's a window that says you're about to shut down and then you've got like 10 seconds if you press port you'll notice down here that it will tell you that it's shutting down has been canceled and that is just a simple way that you can add in the shutdown functionality into your programs your applications whatever you're building you can also do your uh, restart log off hibernate sleep anything like that and if you would like to see tutorials of those leave a comment down in the comment section below and I will do those tutorial videos for you as well and show you how to use a combo box to where you can choose which ones you want. All right, and remember, this is Ian with Camp Nerd. As always, like, subscribe, share the channel. The more that you like and subscribe, the more that it helps me know that I'm doing a good job at what I'm doing as in teaching coding in C Sharp. This is Ian. Thank you for watching this video tutorial and be sure to come back and watch some more. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video.